Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to fix broken references in Mendeley and I will also give you tips and tricks on how to use Mendeley in a better way. So let's get started. So this is my Mendeley desktop screen. I'm going to minimize this one. And first of all, I will show you an example. So for, for a disclaimer, let me tell you, this is just a random manuscript. This has uh, the problem is not with the manuscript or something with the journal. The problem is with the Mendeley importing software. So what is the problem when you import in two different ways? For example, there's one way that you can import from here without opening the document. You can simply select this one. But there's another way that you open this uh, manuscript in the full preview and then you can import it from here. So now I will show you what is the uh, difference between both ways. So for example, if I'm importing the Mendeley from here on this one and then you will be able to see a dialog box which is something like this and it will show you the manuscript which you have just opened which is this one okay so now i will going to select this one and select add okay now this manuscript has been added to mendeley now i'm going to go here and i'm going to sync it okay so while it is syncing i'm quickly go to the word document and will just show you an example so this is just a random text generation i didn't do anything i just copied some random text just to show you what is the difference okay so now, uh, imagine, uh, most of the times, uh, what I've seen that sometimes I've seen the problem of the wrong citation, not the wrong citation, but the format of the citation is not correct. So now the uh, citation is uh, synced with the Mendeley. I'm going to add the citation here. And this is the paper title, which I just wrote. I'm going to click over here and it says no author. So this is a big, uh, big, how to say, big clue for you that your Mendeley citation is not imported properly. So if I click on OK, and it will show a reference over here without a doubt but i will show you what is the difference so once you go here and click on insert bibliography you will have this kind of reference in your reference which is not a proper way because it doesn't have an author name it doesn't have a uh, issue number volume number page number or doi number whatsoever is the guideline by the uh, manuscript it doesn't show anything at all now i will show you what is the problem if you uh, import a citation from the open web page what is the problem right now so you notice that in this one you can only see that this reference type is a web page title is also like this and everything is like this which is not correct so go back here and then make sure when you are importing a citation if you are importing a reference then what you have to do is you have to quick you have to carefully see that all the information is correct now the difference between this one which is the same manuscript and between this one which is also the same manuscript but you can see that clearly different that this is so it looks doesn't looks good obviously it's not a, a properly imported citation a reference it is just a web uh, web capture so it just captured the web address and it's showing it something like this but the proper way to do is that from the main page here you have to add the citation like this now if i add it here and then i go back to my reference section i have to sync my this reference again go to mendeley and sync this uh, reference it will try to sync all the documents that you have added via the web importer into this Mendeley desktop app. And then now I will show you what is the difference. So for example, I added one reference here. I'm going to copy some simple text again. I'm going to paste it here. And then I will add another reference here for the same manuscript. Okay. So let's say I'm going to paste that reference again. Let's say uh, potential, potential for hydrogen. Or I'm just going to write the author's name. Added Blanco. Now you can see that by simply typing the name of the author, I can easily uh, uh, I can easily see that manuscript reference. I'm going to select here. Now you can see that author name comes and the year also comes, which is the right way to show a reference. Okay. Now when you select on this one, and then you will be able to see a proper reference here. So guys, as I'm going to zoom in a little bit, you can see a difference between both of them. This is just a web import. You can see that this has address for the web. Whereas in this one, you can see the author names, the journal, uh, the manuscript title, the journal name, volume number, page number, and the year. Okay, so this is the proper reference and this is how you can avoid this kind of error. Sometimes when you are working and you don't have enough time, you are trying to import the references from online, but you don't uh, notice that you, there is a problem while importing them. But when you are writing manuscript and you call these references in the text, then you uh, you sometimes skip this kind of a problem so this is just a just a tip how you can do this one another way how you can fix fix this type of broken reference is first of all you go here and let's say i'm going to open that manage, uh, uh, reference again let's say 
this is a reference if I double click on this one one thing it will do is it will open the reference in the another tab I hope so looks like it will, it will open the PDF uh, okay I don't need this one I'm going to close this one and select simply select this one okay so now when you select this one you will have an option to edit this one but sometimes if the uh, reference is not correct you can simply edit them a little bit okay not completely but you need to uh, validate all the information from this portal in the text Mendeley desktop and also on the online here comes the ref uh, author names then comes the journal name year volume and pages then comes the abstract normally abstract if, even if you don't have an abstract it doesn't affect the uh, reference itself and then comes the author keywords also date access sometimes you don't want to show the date access you can simply remove it it, it will won't show in the references and then publisher uh, DOI ISSN and something else for example if I copy this one and if I delete it here for a while and now see what happens in the manuscript so for now you have a DOI if I refresh it you will not see the DOI anymore sometimes some manuscripts don't require a DOI it depends on the referencing style but if they if you don't need it and if you want to manually edit it you can go there and remove it one by one if you want but I won't suggest you to do this one you have to find a suitable references from this list go to more styles and find a suitable uh, style over here you can type any manuscript that you want and you can find easily for example if I just type IEEE there are so many journals which have a uh, uh, referencing style you can select simply select this one install it and you can simply go back here and use that style again okay so this is all I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to explain I hope you guys hope hope this video helps you guys understand how to fix a broken reference in Mendeley and hope the tip, tip and trick that I showed you uh, help helps you solve a lot of problems so if you have any question leave down comment leave your comments down below and if you have any confusion about this topic please leave your comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible till then take care Allah Hafiz